Welcome everyone. Today we're going to be discussing in this session, one of many sessions to follow, how to study. We're going to start with the syllabus. First of all, in the syllabus, you should be reading the course learning objectives. Afterwards, you have to be underlining the key concepts and overarching frameworks. These are quite significant since instructors focus on these frameworks and key concepts in the examination, and you're going to be tested. Thereafter, you should go to the library, which is just across the university building, and check out the textbook, which is found on the syllabus. Part two, we're going to be focusing on the course learning objectives. The course learning objectives, which are found on your syllabus, are your guiding light. You should convert the course learning objectives into questions. Usually, that's what instructors do in order to come up, format, construct questions for the final and midterm exam. Part three, the chapter learning objectives. After checking out the book or the textbook from the library, you should open the chapter. At the beginning of each chapter, there are chapter learning objectives. Read carefully the chapter learning objectives. Underline the key phrases, concepts. These are your guiding light, which will guide you through the chapter. Part four entails the summary. The summary, first of all, you look at the chapter learning objectives. You underline the key concepts, frameworks, that entail within that chapter. Thereafter, you follow a bottom-up approach where you go to the summary, you read the descriptions underneath each of the chapter learning objectives. After reading them and being familiar with that short summary, you may go back to the beginning of the chapter and comb through the entire chapter, having a clear idea of the key concepts frameworks to be addressed in that chapter. Part five entails the material. After looking at the course learning objectives and the chapter learning objectives and combing through the summaries, now you go into the text. You dig deeper into the text, looking at the pros and cons, advantages and disadvantages, elements, factors and concepts and frameworks which entail within that chapter. You go into further detail, looking at the margins where they highlight key phrases and concepts with their definition. Study those quite carefully. The rest are only examples there to guide you through the chapter. Part six. Part six will be discussing reviewing the material. Write a few notes, paraphrase the material, use illustrations and diagrams, flow charts that will aid you to remember, acronyms such as SMART goals. All of these are quite useful to remember and revise the material. The same way you schedule time to study, schedule time to rest. I hope you find this useful and beneficial and good luck with your studies.